welcome to all my new subscribers. Great to have you on board, guys. Let's rock. Hey, guys. Welcome back, Boating for Beginners. Well, unfortunately, we've not been able to do a great deal of boating because of this damn COVID situation. But even on a lockdown, the boat needs to be took out, ready for the winter. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, guys, there she is. We're going to take her seven miles down the bay and put her right on a trailer and put her to bed for the winter. Here we go. Okay, guys, we're underway. And... Uh, Got a couple of people on board that you might recognise. We've got young Daniel driving, he's the captain for this morning. Morning Hi. Dan, how are you buddy? Alright. And what it is it what's good morning in Greek? Galimera. Galimera. And of course we've got the delicious COVID friendly <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Looking armed and ready. <laughs> you alright this morning, darling? Yes. Yeah, awesome. Good She's just enjoying the trip, guys. Just enjoying the trip. We've got a few clouds about. I'll show you around. There's the harbour that we've just come out of. Right just there. And now we're heading out. That way I sit down. We're heading out. We've got a seven mile run this morning down to the uh, Suda port which is the main uh, port of uh, this area um, where all the big liners are there's a, a Covid liner it's a really sad situation so I love the old cruises being a boat to myself and uh, always had a great time while on a cruise great food, great people, great entertainment he's been there since August guys so if you think you're having a bad Covid time he's been there since August for the skeleton cruise so a real shame Anyway, hope the uh, cruising world will pick up soon. Uh, we all need a good holiday. And that's uh, one of the nicest holidays uh, I've ever had, actually. Uh, and you don't have to be lardy dar either, or pretend you're a, a knight in shining armour or a princess. Just normal, down-to-earth, good fun. Yes. So anyway, here we are. So, uh, see you down the bay, guys. Yeah, so basically, guys, um, when you're taking your boat out, um, the first thing I do is uh, jet wash the bottom. You'll see what I mean later when we take it out, because all the barnacles and bits, if you don't do it on the day that you take it out, then it obviously solidifies overnight. And the longer you leave it, it becomes like concrete. So instead of just jet washing it, you'll have to chisel it off, uh, which is no fun for anybody. So, uh, so that's what my first top tip. Uh, second top tip then is obviously to flush your engine um, with fresh water. Don't put it into gear, uh, just uh, leave it running, the engine running, uh, and flush it with nice, clean, fresh water, okay, uh, from the mains, and uh, you're good to go. That'll, that'll wash all the salt out of the engine and uh, keep it ready for, for next year, okay, or well, the next season, I should say. So uh, there we are top tips guys top tips but also i'd like to say a massive thank you to all 542 of you that have come and joined the boating for beginners over the last uh four months okay so thank you so much guys great to have you on board with us i'm sorry we've not had many videos this summer but uh, due to covid and i've been involved in a few other projects musically for those that have been with me for a number of years you know that i'm a guitar player oh yeah rock and roll and all that so uh, i've been busy doing that rehearsing and so on so uh, all exciting stuff okay as we're traveling down the bay now doing a nice steady five knots uh, up there guys for you historians is a turkish fort from 1820 right on the hill there and that controlled this side of the bay where we're heading right now over there there is another fortress that controlled that side of the bay so they had full control of the whole bay there all right so in and out for any boating beginners out there that uh, just joined us we're on 
what we call a head sea at the moment where the wind's blowing towards us the waves are coming towards us that's known as a head sea all right so there we are also i'm trying to uh pack in as much as i can for this video uh, for any new boaty beginners okay this is the throttle this is what you see there that's the throttle and what you do you push it forward to go obviously forward and then neutral there we are there we are look see you put it neutral in, in put it into the center and that's neutral and then obviously back for reverse and the more forward that you push it right like now you'll hear the boat go okay but we're just taking our time enjoying being out on the water one last time before uh, the winter really sets in okay guys you might be wondering why uh, i'm actually driving this boat seven miles down the bay to take it out seven miles away from where the boat was in the harbor as opposed to taking it out of the harbor i was in well the reason being two things number one the uh, well three things actually number one the slip into the harbor and out of the harbor is a lot steeper the harbor where i moor the boat through the season secondly there's a lot of potholes real big potholes and i didn't want to risk with a trailer and a, a boat being on the back of going down any of those potholes and tipping the boat off the trailer not a good idea and thirdly which is also a useful benefit it enables me to burn some fuel off i've only got uh, a quarter of a tank anyway more than enough to get down to where i want to be um, but it burns some fuel off gives the engine and the batteries a good workout uh, charges the batteries up and uh, again it's just great being out on the water one last time before next april april 2021 hopefully covid free so there we are rock and roll So guys this is a great little bit of kit if you've got a steering wheel on your boat like this okay I got this from eBay 23 pounds I think it was it's very handy especially when you come into dock or more up but the only thing is you have to be careful of this bracket because it's I've cut my uh, knuckles quite a few times so I, a friend lent me a good file and I filed all the edges down but I still catch me, me hands sometimes but it's a great bit of kit uh, off eBay so uh, have a look at the, one of those on eBay about £23, £22-£23 but uh, well worth uh, having on the steering wheel there we go We're coming into the main port now as you can see the big uh, liners are there and they usually go I don't know whether they're going now because of the Covid lockdown on in Greece but uh, normally they make the trip about 9 9 30 in the evenings every day sometimes twice a day in peak season uh, it's a great service actually it costs about 163 pounds uh, to take your car on and a cabin and it takes uh, you leave at 9 9 30 as i say in the evening and you land in the main port of uh, Piraeus uh, on the mainland near Athens um, about uh, six o'clock in the morning beautiful the other thing as well guys is uh, if you're watching this obviously you've got a boat but if you haven't got a boat yet then uh, you certainly won't regret getting a boat it takes you to places you wouldn't normally get to see it's just an absolutely fantastic thing to do uh, it's a real life changer and i will do a video about all the different types of boats and what the benefits and uh, negatives are for all the different size of boats um, so i'll uh, that will be forthcoming guys forthcoming so you'll have to bear with me and as i say thanks again for all the new subscribers that came on board over the last sort of five six months there's been a hell of a lot of you so um, i hope you're enjoying the series
Okay, guys, I've just telephoned my uh, friend Ricky. He's at the slip now, so uh, we're just coming in to the uh, port of Suda. Okay, I'll show you around in a moment. But he's just going to be back in the trailer down the slip, ready for me to plonk this hot baby on the trailer. All right, so I hope it's of help to anybody that's never done this before. Certainly nothing to worry about. Just have a real good, trusting, reliable friend uh, to help you and uh, all friends and uh, get it done, all right? Rock and roll, all part of boating, and it's all good fun as well. Isn't it, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it, Linda? Yeah. <laughs> See you in a moment. Okay, the thing is, guys, the thing is to do it very slowly, nice and steady, there's no rush. The slip, although you can't see it right now, is to starboard bow. Yes, that's it done over there. And there's Ricky stood on the on the quayside there waiting for me to bring the boat in nice and slowly. So what I'm gonna do guys, the uh, I'm only doing about two or three knots. Coming in nice and steady, steady. There's Ricky, there he is. Bless him. Ricky's a guy you can rely on, he's a good fella. In fact, check out his video. One of his videos is on my, uh, or a video all about Ricky and his boat. He's got a lovely boat and uh, It's on my, uh, in fact I'll leave a link, uh, I'll do a link, I'll show you. Uh, interesting guy, ex-British para, and uh, yeah, he's got the winch all ready, look. Got everything all ready to rock and roll. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, then ring that bell. It'd be great to have you on board. There we go. Nice. I've got a starboard wind at the moment, a bit of a breeze blowing me, so but this slip is so much easier to uh, take a boat out of. She's almost flat, unlike the other one, which is like a, a hill. So I'm using the starboard breeze to sort of bring me in. So I've, although I'm not in the line right now, as you'll see, the breeze will bring me in. Now I'm just doing little bursts. Now I'm almost on target now, but I've got to bear in mind that that breeze won't blow me port side. So there we go. We're almost there, guys. Perfect mate. Okay, Rick. Yeah. Fantastic, Rick. Using the engine guys to uh, pull the boat onto the uh, trailer so it doesn't slip back and it makes it a bit easier for us as well. Okay, guys, so, so uh, the engine is now off, okay. Um, and what I'm also doing now with my tilt button on the handset there. So, using this tilt button, guys, before Ricky pulls me out, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, raise the engine. So, Oh, yes, just raising the engine. 
that's it you've got it down so it doesn't scrape the bottom there we are and here's ricky say good morning to the viewers morning <laughs> How are you, mate? You okay? All good, mate. Good trip, down. Yeah, yeah, nice, mate. Yeah, I, I, uh, I put some, uh, you know, put my foot down a bit, waste some, uh, get rid of some yeah, fuel, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the old girl. Nice one. Uh, so I'm just under, just a quarter. So, uh, yeah, nice one, my old mate. Awesome. And everything's ready to roll, is it? Yeah. Okay, my old buddy. There we are guys, how cool is that? Hey, there's the slip, fantastic. How easy was that? What do you reckon Linda? That was good. <laughs> you look like a nurse with that, uh, oh nurse, you <laughs> with that mask. <laughs> Dan, what are you into that then, eh? It was nice, yeah. See, all you need is a good reliable friend like Rick, that's gonna look, make sure everything's in place and sorted buddy that's all you need so we're going to get off now guys and uh, welcome to the port of Suda. there we are guys she's out and you can see there's it there's the this stuff but it comes off reasonably easy you see and just a quick jet wash jobs are good and and dan's going to be doing the jet washing aren't you mate yeah awesome and then we're going to go and get Ricky's bad boy boat out. Eh? <laughs> hey guys, check out the description below for this channel's top 10 videos. You're just going to love them.